everybody, Nathina and Toinette here, and today we are going to DIY some eyelash extensions, you guys. Yeah. So, for starters, before we get into the tutorial, I just want to clarify that there's a difference between individual eyelashes eyelash strips, the clusters, and eyelash sectionals. These are clusters. You have one little piece with maybe like three, four hairs coming out. Three, four little eyelashes coming out, okay? The next are sectionals. They are kind of like clusters in a short row. So maybe like four or five clusters kind of like co connected to each other if you want to think about it that way. And then you have eyelash strips, which is the full band that you just place on. And then you have individual eyelashes. And so, um, individual eyelash extensions. And so today, that's what we're going to do. Those are just one single hair. And it, it's actually not as tedious as it seems. Because when you first get them, you're like, oh my god, how am I going to do these myself? But they're actually super easy. They're supposed to last for anywhere upwards of like two, three weeks. And then you can just get the hairs um, filled in as they come out. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do a little short demo on how I do mine. So yeah, I'm hoping that I got a good angle so you guys can see it how I got it, got how I did the process or whatever. But um one thing I do need to practice on is my technique for dipping in the glue because although like they're not bad, I feel like, you know, it's a better it's a better way to make that happen. So that way you have less like glue clumps or whatever. Um, what else? Also, I would recommend using thinner. <laughs> Life is here. I would recommend using thinner tweezers. <laughs> to, <laughs> I would recommend. I would recommend using thinner tweezers to um to put the lashes in, and I personally. I didn't use a spoolie throughout to comb my lashes because I, I just was afraid that I was going to like hit them before they dried. So I didn't bother to spoolie them until like they were, I was sure that they were completely, completely dry. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do it anymore randomly. Y'all go ahead. So yeah, y'all, y'all. Y'all go ahead and uh, watch the tutorial, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys another time. <laughs> Bye. Alright, so for starters, the lashes that I have are pretty long, and you don't have to get them this long. I will put a link in the description for the lashes that I have and the glue. But these are pretty thick and pretty long. But all I'm doing is taking my tweezers and picking up each individual lash, dipping it in glue, and placing them against my natural lashes. So to add dimension to my lashes, I take each individual lash and I place them underneath my natural lash. And then I go over my natural lash line and then after I do that I kind of stick another individual lash in between the two just to give it that kind of almost fluttery look because if you look at our natural lashes the hairs aren't just in this you know a direct line so I wanted to make sure I had extra dimension to them. The next time that I order these, I am going to get the variety pack that has the different lengths in them. So that way I can add the shorter hairs towards the front and still have the long fluttery look as well. 
So this is the gist of the process that I went through with these lashes. Every once in a while, I did grab two lashes by accident, but I just went ahead and stuck them in there. It just makes them look more natural and real. So I hope you guys have a good angle and you were able to see exactly what it was that I was doing. Please give it a try. Let me know how it went for you. So, yeah, now you have some beautiful lashes, girl.